Welcome to Elf Centered. Today we're going to talk about skin. Amazing thing, skin. It's the largest organ in your body. It keeps all your insides on the inside and the outsides on the outside. It protects you. It nourishes you. It's just chock full of nerves, which allow you to differentiate between temperature, texture, a whole lot of things. It's also the first part of you that a lot of people get to see, some more than others. Today I'm going to talk about skin hunger. Take this as a kind of a PSA or a little informational session. Skin hunger is something fairly new in the field. It's only really been looked at for the last 10 or 12 years. It's related to uh, failure to thrive, which we've been exploring and experimenting with for the last, oh, since the late uh, 19th century into uh, the 50s and 60s saw a lot of experimentation on that. Failure to thrive basically said that a newborn or infant who did not receive a certain level of physical attention particularly from the maternal figure, um, it would be in the lower percentile of height gain, weight gain, there would be later life issues, uh, emotional, psychological issues, educational issues. And as North American society in particular moved through the 40s and 50s and 60s, as uh, women entered the workforce in larger numbers, there was less time available for nurturing newborns and uh, paying physical attention to children beyond the, you know, looking down the hall and saying, turn off that loud stuff! Um, so we're starting to, to get into uh, several generations who... And it's not everybody, but there are people who have issues with touch. As a result, um, something that you'll see a lot in the last little while are things like free hugs at conventions. Um, stuff that, like they call cuddle puddles and puppy piles, where uh, groups of people will just get together and just kind of lounge all over each other and hug each other and you know lay there and watch a movie or hang out in the lobby of a hotel and just kind of like be en masse for the touch. Um, we are, North American society is somewhat touch starved. People who suffer from skin hunger take it that extra step or have it taken that extra step for them. Um, it becomes a craving, not a desire as much as a need. Um, for some it becomes painful. There is, this is why some people react rather negatively towards the free hugs and such. And, you know, there's another whole sidebar to the free hugs. I am of an age that when, you know, uh, some little 14-year-old, particularly of the opposite gender, uh, tears up to me at a convention and wraps her arms around me and says, free hug, I feel uncomfortable. It can be a little creepy. Yeah, it can be a lot creepy. So anyway, skin hunger. There are a variety of ways of dealing with skin hunger, and I've seen among a number of people who do suffer from this affliction. You can go the route with the hugs and the cuddles and everything. Um, some people go all the way to the one side and become complete and total sluts, uh, sleeping with anyone and everyone, um, all about the nakedness, mostly for the touch, not for the emotional content. There are other people at the other end, like myself, who, well, I'm the captain of my own ship. I'm, I'm sorry, it's mind over matter, and I don't mind, and it don't matter. So when it gets particularly bad, I ride it out. This can result in a desire to not be touched. Uh, even something as simple as a handshake becomes painful. The nerves become so tense and so wound up that any stimulation at all is not at all pleasurable. I have discovered uh, in the last couple of years, uh, strangely, with uh, the way our society has been going towards, you know, more touch, that um, when I say no thank you, no hug today, they take it that it's about them, it's an insult, when really it's about me. This doesn't mean don't touch me. This does not mean don't hug me. Uh, a couple of interesting little um, signals. If I open my arms to hug you first, eh, it's a good day. You can always ask. There is a lot of awareness in the last few years on Facebook and other social media about uh, bipolar disorder and depression, how to deal with an introvert, um, how to deal with somebody suffering from very psychological cases. Skin hunger really hasn't come up because I don't think we know how to deal with it. Other societies have it to a greater or lesser degree. It's not uncommon in certain Middle Eastern countries to see two men holding hands. It's a sign of trust. It's a sign of friendship. Though, strangely, in those countries, to see a man or a woman holding hands is verboten, uh, whereas in North American society, it's quite the opposite. I'm not saying that we should all hold hands and hug. I am saying we should be a little more aware of each the other and know that sometimes there are new things we haven't discovered yet.
Have a great day. Go hug someone who wants to be hugged in a non-creepy way.